Hey, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to uh, import a model from TurboSquid. It's going to be a cannon that we're going to use as an obstacle uh, and add that uh, one more piece to our uh, tool bag for being able to make this game. Uh, but first, if uh, you're just now joining us and you're not sure what's going on, you want to see uh, what the rest of the game is about, you can go ahead and go to my YouTube channel, Putting on the Fritz 3D Visualization, and uh, subscribe if you like what you see, like the video. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what exactly I am talking about for our game here. Okay, so let me bring up my demo game. And here you can see the cannon is kind of off in the background. If I hit play right up here, you'll see that these cannons are wall mounted or you can put them on any type of obstacle and they're just going to shoot. And then the cannonballs disappear when they hit something. There's some animation in the, can in the cannon. And then if they actually hit the player, they'll do damage and the game will restart. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go get this cannon first. We're going to download it off of uh, TurboSquid. So open up your favorite browser, whatever it might be, and go to uh, www.turbosquid.com. And that'll get us all set up. Okay, and then once you get here... Um, you're going to have to create an account if you don't already have one. So you're going to have to go up here, create an account, and then uh, you can start downloading. If you're uh, on a school campus, of course you can use your school email address or whatever you have there, but this will probably be something that you want to revisit multiple times. And by having an account, uh, you're going to continue to add things into it over time, and you'll kind of get sort of a library because anything you, you download from here, whether it's free or you purchase, uh, stays in your library. And I'll show you what that looks like here in a minute. So let's go ahead and first find the cannon. All right, so we can uh, click here in the middle where it says 3D uh, models, and I'm going to type in cannon. And this one probably won't come up right away because it was just added. And um, But we're going to kind of take a look at it. So we get in here. You can see there's a lot of different uh, type of cannons in here. We can go up here to the left-hand side where it says price and select free because we're going to download a free model. Okay, And if we scroll through here, I don't believe this is going to show up. There's two pages. I'm not seeing it yet. And yeah, no. Okay, so we're going to have to modify our search. So up here in the right-hand side, if I click the X and type in wall cannon. Okay, we'll get a few things that come up. And it's going to be this one right here. This is the uh, one you saw in my video. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to click on it. And it's an OBJ model, and it is free. And all the details about the model are down here. It's an OBJ, polygon, stuff like that. Um, some details here. We can click through it, take a look at some of the images. Might look a little familiar. Okay, and there we go. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to download this. So right down here where it says free and download, we're going to click on download. And what that'll do is I'll take you to your products here, okay? And it'll show up here under all of your products that you found in the past that you've been using. And once it's here, then you can just download this onto your computer. So for this one, because it's just a simple model, there are no textures with it, we're going to go ahead and just click right here where it says Canon Object. Okay, I'm going to select that. It's going to download. And you can see I've downloaded it a couple times because I tried this out first. I'm going to click on the folder. And get my downloads folder now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my project okay so if you haven't already opened up your project open it up and we're going to go to our content drawer and then in our content drawer we're gonna go to blueprints and we're gonna click on the actors folder and is that where I want to put it yeah we're gonna put in actors all right, so then we're going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to say new folder and this one is going to be Canon. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to double click it. And this is where we're going to take the model that we downloaded. Okay. And we're going to click and drag and drop it down into here. Let me move this out of the way. And this uh, FBX import options will pop up. All right. So one of the things we're going to do with this particular model is uh, we're going to go ahead and rotate it to make sure that it is um, facing in the right direction, okay? Because when you 
pull some of these in. Sometimes they're facing crazy directions. And um, Unreal Engine has uh, Z up, or Z as some people call it. And then uh, other modeling, uh, external modeling um, software has Y up. So sometimes it kind of messes things up. And there's other ways to kind of play around with it. But this one I've messed around with. So I know that right here for my import rotation, I'm going to want my Y to be at 90 degrees positive and my Z to be at negative 90. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and click import all. And once that's done, I'm going to import my, I'm going to open up my content drawer back to that folder. And we should have the Canon and the base to the Canon right here. And they should be facing kind of in this 45 degree angle off to the left here. Okay. So we're going to do a couple things to get this all set up first. First, we're not going to use these materials that came on them. Those were uh, material nodes that were set up so that the cannon and the base each have their own material. But we're not going to use these materials. We're not going to create materials from this. We're going to use materials from Bridge and uh, from the content uh, folder. So I'm going to go ahead and hit delete on that material. I'm going to force delete it because it's going to say, hey, you're going to lose it. You can't get it back. That's okay. We don't need those materials. And the other thing I want to do is I'm going to rename these two so that they don't have such a long, complicated name. It's basically the same thing repeated twice. So I'm gonna select one of them and hit F2. And I am gonna keep it SM Canon base and then delete everything that's in front of that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other one. And if you can't, if you don't remember it, F2, you can right click and then you can just select rename and you can see the shortcut there is F2. So we can rename it. Again, I'm gonna just keep this one SM Canon tube and it's actually Canon Barrel but um, we'll just name it Canon Tube right now or you can rename it Canon Barrel so we don't get mixed up. Alright so we have both of these. The next thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and um, set them up so that they have their material applied to them already okay and we can double click on the Canon base and when that opens up you see it here in this uh, in this window okay and all we're going to do is we're just going to add a material to it. Right now it's using the World Grid material. Um, for this one, and I'm going to grab the little tab and pull it, kind of push it off to the side here. And click on my bridge that I already have open. Now you may need to open bridge. Remember that's up here window or under, actually it's back here under level, under window, Quixel bridge. Okay. And then once you have bridge open, make sure you sign into it. And then... Um, you can go in and find some surfaces that you like. I found a metal, rusty, so corroded. And I use this one right here, this rusty metal. But there's plenty of other ones to choose from. Find something that you like that uh, kind of speaks to you for what your game might be. And then select that. Um, here's a kind of a painted copper sheet. That's kind of cool. Um, anyway, so you can get that. And then um, so what I'm going to do is rusty metal okay so I'm gonna come back over here to my world grid and I'm gonna type in so this was a material instance underscore because when we get them from bridge they're material instances and this was rusty metal I think it was and that's gonna give me that uh, look I have right here now for this one for that material I have already um, gone in and let me find it since I downloaded it because remember you're gonna to have to download and, in and import it right so from bridge, you're going to have to hit the little green arrow to download it. And then you'll hit the blue arrow to import it. I've already done that with mine. And I've also already modified it so that back here in my mega scans, my surfaces, that rusty metal, I modified it here with my tiling. And I set mine to 10 to 10 again. Just whatever reason, that number just seems to kind of work for what I'm doing right now because of the scale of everything. And uh, that's what gave me my Canon base, this look right here, okay? If I reset it back to original, these paint chips would be really, really huge. Um, and which might be okay, that might be a look you're going for. All right, so with those two done, we can close both of these out. And I'm gonna leave bridge open just for future use. Now the other one I'm gonna do, go back to my content drawer, my content, my blueprints, actors, and find my Canon again. This time I'm gonna do the same thing for the Canon tube. But I'm going to use a material that's already in the uh, um, came with the uh, content when we first set up our game, and uh, this one is going to be M because it's a material underscore, and it's metal, 
and it was copper, this metal copper. And that kind of gives me my, that barrel, that kind of a dented, kind of a old weathered look to it. I kind of like that one. I didn't see anything like that that I liked in Bridge, so I went with this one. But again, this is your project as well, so you can pick whatever you want, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and save that too and uh, close it. Hopefully I remember to save the other one before I close it. Yeah, it's, it's still on there. All right, we're good. All right, so now they're both set up in the right direction, and they're both facing in the direction we need them to well, facing in the direction we need them to be, and they both have materials. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to right-click, and we're going to get our Blueprint class started, and we're going to do some things to get it, getting it set up in there, and then we'll stop from there, all right? So a couple more minutes here. So we're going to select a blueprint class. This is going to be an actor. And we're going to name this one BP for blueprint underscore. And I'm just going to go with the simple name Canon. Okay. And then I'm going to double click on it. And it's going to open up. Okay. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to select my uh, default scene route. I'm going to add and I'm going to add a static mesh. So a static mesh and actually Static mesh should be right here on this very front page. So static mesh, okay? <clears throat> and I'm gonna call this one um, Canon, yeah, Canon Base. Okay, and then with that one selected, I'm gonna go ahead and add another static mesh. And this one's gonna be Canon Barrel. Okay, and then We'll add one more thing, but we'll do that here in a second, all right? So let's make sure everything's set up right first. So we're going to go back to Canon Base. We're going to select that. And over here for Static Mesh, I'm going to hit the down arrow. And I'm going to type in SM underscore Canon. And since we only have two things in here named Canon, we're going to pick the one that says Canon Base. And it should be, when it comes in, it should have its material on it. And it should have the green arrow right here in the middle, facing in the middle of it, facing outwards, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing for Cannon Barrel. We're gonna select Cannon Barrel. We're gonna hit the down arrow, <clears throat> SM underscore Cannon. And this is gonna be the Cannon Tube, okay? So now we have the Cannon Base and the Cannon Barrel. They're, all, they're both pointing this direction. <clears throat> so, now the next thing we wanna do is go ahead and we're gonna use a marker to help point in a certain direction for our Cannon. And we're also going to, um, whoa, I'm all over the place. All right, so, uh, and the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we have a point in a certain direction and this uh, arrow is going to be the, the thing that we use to instantiate or find the position of where we wanna instantiate our projectile, which we'll take care of in the next uh, video. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back up here with cannon barrel selected. We're gonna hit add, and this time we're gonna type arrow, okay? And we should have this little arrow choice, with a little arrow next to it pop up, and we're gonna, call this um let's see we're gonna call this um projectile direction okay and now if we take a look we see that we have it pointing in the wrong direction so what we need to do is we're gonna need to rotate it okay and we're gonna rotate it here on the z rotation 90 degrees now it should pop out in front, so we should have it sitting here, pointing in the right direction. The other thing is, is that this arrow is really, really large, and we're gonna fix it right here where it says arrow size. We're just gonna have half this, we're gonna go down to 0.5, I think. All right, so now it's disappeared because it's inside the cannon barrel. We're gonna go ahead and pull it and drag it out this way, all the way out, and give us a little bit of distance in between the two, because when we instantiate the projectile, we want the projectile to pop in out here, but we don't want it to actually hit the cannon barrel, okay? Um, because then it won't instantiate correctly. All right, so that gets us started. I think I'm gonna change the arrow, arrow color from red to something a little bit higher visibility, uh, something like yellow, okay? And that uh, gets us all started for that. We're gonna compile and we're going to go ahead and save it. And um, yeah, I think we're, uh, Good. I think I'm going to rename this from projectile direction because this isn't really, I mean, it is the direction it's going to go, but it's also our spawn point. And we want to know that this is, uh, 
And actually, I'm just going to go ahead and shorten it down even more. We're going to just take out projectile. We're going to change it to spawn point. That way we know exactly what this is supposed to do for us. It's going to be a spawn point for whatever we want to have spawn here in front of the cannon. All right, so I'm going to compile it, and I'm going to save it. And that gets us all started for this piece of the cannon. So um, if you have any questions, please uh, put those down inside of the comments down below. If you like what you saw, like the video, subscribe, and uh, don't forget, putting on the Fritz 3D visualization, quite a few other videos in here, and I'll see you next time.